hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to transfer animation from cutter creator to blender and use it with real motion pro okay so now let's start here before we start make sure you load any character into the scene here you can use one of their actors like kevin this one does they have tipos as they are supposed to act so after that i'm going to load animation to it so i have this animation here i can just click on it and i can preview it here to see how it looks so we have f1 attack street point one so this one is pointing and this is the one taking the point okay so we have f1 f1 this f2 f2 so i'm going to load this animation and transfer it okay so you can go here and remove all the animation so i'm going down here i'm going to use these two animation okay so first i'm going to load the ko3 so i'm going to select this one and load to our character and this is how it looks okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to load i'm going to export this into as fbs okay so let's go to far export and here i'm going to choose fbs and and choose cloth character and here i'm going to choose blender for the targets and i'll choose motion so here i'm going to choose current animation and all okay you can choose range and type where you want to start and where to end so here i'm going to choose all and the frame rate you can set the frame rate you want so here i'm going to choose 24 and i'm going to click export so this one i'm going to call it attack one and i'm going to save it here and it's going to export okay so after it has exporting i'm going to remove those animation and i'm going to load ko34 okay this is the one falling on the ground so this is how this one also looks okay i'm going to export also this one as fbs so go far export fbs and choose cloth character the same settings and i'm going to export and I'm going to choose our fold okay so i'm going to save this one and it's okay so after that i will just go to blender and here i have I have these two characters here i want them to do the fighting okay so what i'm going to do is since i don't have this animation in my library i'm going to use the same blender version and use any character so since this one is auto rig i'm going to use the same auto rig characters okay so i'm going to open a new scene and this one i have already have this character here so i'm going to load the animation to this guy and use and use this one to save the animation into the library so what i'm going to do is i'll go to the red target and i'll just go to set path and i'll go to where i have it and i'm going to click on set path this one will give me all the animation i have in those folders you can also go to far import and choose fbs and import them one by one okay so here i'm going to select the attack and i'm going to import it okay then i have this animation in here i can just select this and delete the mesh i only need it rig okay so now let's go to the source and i'm going to choose this one as my source and a target to my auto rig character so here make sure your auto rig character has been assigned in settings and switch to f -scape, okay so now let's go here and if you click on auto fetch this one set for you i'm going to load it and i'm going to search for actor call to auto rig okay so actor call to auto rig and after that i'm going to set this one as my root bone cc base hips and i'm going to bind the constraint okay so now this is what you have good so i'm going to bake this one so just click on bake now it has finished baking okay so i'm going to delete this one so let's go to post mode and here i think the animation ends on here this one are not parts i'm going to just delete those key things to left with this guy so let's go back to object mode and here i'm going to custom library and let's go to top sheet here and go to action and this is the action name we just speak uh, or it is on our card so i'm going to load that action or you can select this and choose the action here so this other one and i'm going to choose name for it I can use the same name and I can remove the big. Okay. So 
here i can just be on here and click on image and this will take screenshot and use this one as image and i'm going to export so let me save the seed first okay after that i'm going to export now i have finished exporting this one into my library when i go to attack name of the action right now when i go to here and i go to auto rig um i can see it here attack let me search for attack okay so this is the one attack motion auto rig okay this is the one so i have finished exporting this one into my library okay so now let's go to an s do the same thing for the fold okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean the animation from the rig and i'm going to do for the second one so let's go to retargeting and the same process I'm going to import this one i'm going to delete this here i'm going to set this one as the source and now I'm going to bind and loop okay so here let me bake it first and um, okay so now so it's finished baking uh this is the animation and uh, let's go to the custom libraries here okay so let me go here and i'm going to choose the big animation so fall i'm going to search for the fall so there's the one i big okay if you go to you can see it here for big that the current action is active on this card okay i'm going to choose the same name for it and remove the big okay i'm going to take screenshot and now i'm going to export this now we are finished exporting this okay so now let's reset everything and now we are finished exporting all of them and i can go to this blender scene here right now when i go to my auto rig um i can see it will appear here let me check uh, this one attack motion there's attack and there's the phone okay I have seen all of them has been export i can also add a preview okay here i have okay so now let's go here so i'm going to add the fault to this guy so i'm going to choose this auto rig and assign the rig and here i'll go to frame one and load the animation and this is what i have let me move it onto the center and i'm going to play it and this is what we have okay so i'm going to select this guy and i'm going to choose um this one the attack and i'm going to sign that rig and load it and now see what we have okay i'm going to choose 24 frames so now this is what we have okay so this is how you can export animation from character creator 4 or 5 or i clone into blender and use it to retarget and then export into your library and now you can load it into any mesomore character right now you can just go and refine the animation here i can see the hands is passing through the, the chest okay i can just go to post mode here make sure auto key is off and here i can just go to um post correction here and i'm going to post this one okay so right now i can just select the ones i post and apply it from frame one to here and now let's see the hands will not clip okay Okay, you see now the answer is not clear. Okay, so this is the method we can use to load and anim transfer animation from character creator to or from iClone to Blender and retarget them, save into your library and use it. So you can use any mockup animation you want. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.